What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we need to break down in depth the new Maserati V6 Natuno engine in the new Gran Turismo. Yes, no longer is the V8, I get it. You guys are probably a little disappointed because we're moving away from those naturally aspirated V8 engines and we're going into the twin turbo V6s. We know the Natuno engine was first fitted to the MC20 sports car and then the ride from that came the Maserati Grocales V6 Natuno engine in the Trofeo and the two liter variants in the Modena and GT trims of the Grocale. Now we have the V6 Natuno in the Maserati Gran Turismo and why this is such a big thing is because the Gran Turismo is known for its sound roaring out of a Ferrari derived naturally aspirated V8 rather than a Maserati made V6 Natuno twin turbo engine. So let's talk about it and here's everything you guys need to know. Now there's two new versions of this Natuno unit with pre-combustion chamber technology from the most important motorsport competition that exists, which is Formula One. Now compared to the launch proposed on the MC20, however, the beating heart of the racing cars of the brand has undergone an update and now counts on some new features. Now with these engines, you're looking at 88 and 82 millimeters in terms of bore and stroke, and as well as a compression ratio of absolute respect for a supercharged equal to 11 to one. Now both Modena and Trofeo trims of this engine retain the MTC technology, the acronym which stands for Maserati Twin Combustion, which is based on the use on the road of the combustion pre-chamber defined as part of Formula One. Now the Tuno leverages a double injection system with a indirect one that allows it to give a canonical combustion by means of a candle placed in lateral position. Instead, the direct one injects the fuel directly into the pre-chamber, which is equipped with a second spark plug. While direct injection is used, the amount of fuel injected is quite moderate, and this generates an overall level, a somewhat lean mixture really, but it's fatter locally in the pre-chamber. The spark plug initiates a first combustion in the pre-chamber and then the relative explosion of the mixture pushes jets of plasma into the small holes along the wall of the pre-chamber itself, spreading it radically along each of the directions within the main chamber. In this scenario, the pre-chamber is close to the typical features of a super candle due to its peculiar characteristics. Now in turn, the high temperature plasma jets trigger the combustion of the primary mixture in different points of the cylinder in order to obtain the simultaneous propagation of various flame fonts capable of covering the present volume in a short period of time. Now, if all that jargon blew your mind, basically the result is a much faster, more efficient and more powerful combustion process than usual. Now, the reason is due to the best approximation of the constant volume process typical of the auto cycle with reduced heat dissipation to the walls. So through the MTC solution, the control unit has the faculty to manage the Natuno engine by opting for traditional combustion, pre-chamber combustion, or combined for both based on the speed and torque request from the accelerator pedal. Now that's a lot to take in, but the real characteristics feature of the Maserati Gran Turismo, Modena, and Trofeo, however, really lie in the opportunity to deactivate the cylinders. So in partial load scenarios, when the pedal demand is low, the control unit has the essential tools to deactivate the three cylinders of the entire bank. Consequently, the remaining cylinders work at higher loads with the same overall power. The effective average pressure increases and reduces the mechanical losses in proportion to the advantage of the consumption and efficiency. And then the Tuno of the Maserati Gran Turismo also features a wet torque in contrast to a dry sump of the MC20. Now, I kind of mentioned this in the press release when it first came out. And keep in mind that the V6 on the Modena trim goes to deliver a total of 490 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 600 newton meters of maximum torque at 3,000 RPM. On the Trofeo with the same revs, the power reaches even higher values equal to 550 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. But in any case, the values are lower when compared to the Natuno of the MC20, which pumps out 630 horsepower and 730 newton meters. And in reference to the Gran Turismo, the 1795 kilograms of weight translate into a power to weight ratio of 0.30 horsepower per kilogram for the Trofeo and 0.27 horsepower to kilograms for the Monona. Now the V6 works in synergy with the eight speed transmission from which the power is sent to all four wheels, allowing for all wheel drive 
and you have to underline the importance of this goal cut by the staff of the Bonona based company with regard to the premium sector because here instead of overlapping in height engine and front differential they are placed at the same level obviously this choice has repercussions in terms of the front overhang extended to almost one meter 949 millimeters but on the opposite side it has made it possible to lower the height of both the hood with advantages relating to the external aerodynamics and the center of gravity with benefits in the dynamics of the vehicle so the aerodynamic coefficient cx of penetration will amount to 0.28 a value slightly higher than 0.26 of the most advantageous version with zero emissions, which we're talking about the Folgary. Now the powertrain appears to be the same platform shared with the Folgary, made up of a 65% aluminum multi-body, which also includes magnesium and steel alloys, and the weight distribution is identical for both Maserati Gran Turismo's by 52% at the front and 48% at the rear. In the style of the Fogery though, the suspension scheme at the front is a double wishbone, which on the contrary leaves room for a multi-link at the rear. The internal suspension block does not include mechanical springs in favor of pneumatic elements with electronic damping management. Now the gas compression is exploited to replicate the elastic and damping behavior completely developed internally by Maserati. The vehicle domain control module or VDCM has the ability to keep the parameters of stiffness and damping of the suspension under control based on the driving conditions and the will of those who sit behind the wheel or the advanced request by the driver to favor comfort or responsive steering response for a more performance oriented behavior on the road. Similarly, the pneumatic springs ensure the height from the ground is adjustable according to the aerodynamic behavior, pursuing efficiency or maximum downforce. Now, when it comes to the driving modes, the driver has four different driving modes to select from with particular characteristics, more or less preferable in relation to both the driving circumstances and the specific taste of the driver. So those modes are Comfort, GT, Sport, and Corsa, and the suspension stiffens gradually with the gradual transition from the more moderate mapping to the more performing one. And the response to the accelerator becomes more ready where the traction and dynamic controls leave greater freedom for the driver. The ESC off command is present to disable the dynamic controls in its entirety and the help provided is not too indifferent. So before giving up with a light heart, it would be advisable to really familiarize yourself before turning that ESC off and putting the pedal to the metal. Now taking consideration that the performance on the road for the Monona version goes zero to 62 miles per hour or zero 200 kilometers in 3.9 seconds with a peak top speed of 302 kilometers or 187 miles per hour where the Trofeo's 60 extra horsepower allows it to cover 0 to 62 in 3.5 seconds, raising that top speed to 320 kilometers an hour or 198 miles per hour. Internally, both engines are marvels and they are to be gawked over, but will they be respected being twin turbo V6s over V8, even with the Formula One technology? Let me know what you guys feel about this engine and performance breakdown of the new Maserati MC20 Modena and Trofeo version. And do you guys agree with the V6 option instead of Maserati going to V8? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on the new Maserati Gran Turismo for 2023 and the analysis of the twin turbo V6 Natuno engine. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch in case you want long sleeve shirts, stickers, tank tops, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. It's everything I'm posting. Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat. It doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.